Hi, I'm John Stockdyke from Accounting Web and welcome to our product showcase with CCH Central and CCH OneClick. With me from Walters Kluwer to take us around the product is Dean Shepard. Dean, you've taken us through self-assessment in another video, but this time the thing on everyone's mind is, is MTD for VAT. Can you show us how that workflow goes? Absolutely. Uh, clients that use spreadsheets for VAT are obviously a hot topic for MTD, uh, and I'm going to use that as an example today. So I would, of course, encourage all my clients to send their bookkeeping spreadsheets to me using a secure document exchange, and we have that facility within CCH OneClick. Now, if I go into CCH OneClick, I can see all the tools that are available for me to use. If I go into the Messages and Documents area, I can see that my client has sent me their bookkeeping spreadsheet. Now, although I'm viewing this in a web browser, both the message and the document will also be stored within the main CCH Central suite. Now, if I open the spreadsheet up, I can see that this is the same bookkeeping spreadsheet that I set up for my clients many years ago. We were keen to ensure that under MTD for VAT, existing processes for the client didn't have to change. Now, if I hover over the cells, you can see that whereas ordinarily the cell reference would be A1, B2, C3, and so on, for the nine cells that contain those VAT figures, I've renamed them VAT B1, VAT B2, VAT B3 to represent the boxes on the VAT return. You can do that once and you're good to go forevermore. That is the only thing you need to do differently as far as the bookkeeping is concerned. Okay, you've got all the information together. How do we go about filing that with HMRC? Okay, I'm gonna go back into CCH one click and take a look. This time we're gonna go into our Making Tax Digital Toolset the first thing we see here is a dashboard illustrating the state of play for both our MTD for VAT cases and also our quarterly reporting cases if you happen to have anybody in HMRC's MTD for Income Tax Pilot. If I drill down into any of these VAT status items, I can see the full list of my clients within each category and I can navigate between those categories if I so wish. So let me find my client, Smith Electrical Limited. This takes me to our VAT submissions area where we can find all previous MTD for VAT submissions, but this will be the first one we're doing for Smith Electrical. If I click on Add Return, this is where I get to upload my client's bookkeeping spreadsheet. The VAT period that you see is pre-populated from HMRC's database, so we'll only show the VAT periods they're expecting. If I click on Upload, I can select the spreadsheet, and at this point, CCH OneClick is looking for those nine VAT return figures that we labeled earlier. It also runs some validation checks to make sure everything is present and correct. If our system is happy, then we'll see this series of green ticks. If it cannot find a particular box number or detects a problem with the data, then we'll get a little red cross and we can go and investigate. As you can see, this spreadsheet is absolutely fine and we can now view it in our submissions area. We can see that when the spreadsheet was uploaded, we can see who uploaded it, the period covered, and the submission status, and we can see that this return has not yet been submitted. If I click on the return, we can give the figures one final sense check before sending that into HMRC. Now if I go back to the submissions area, I can see that the submission status has changed to submitted and I can view the submission acknowledgement reference and timestamp. It's also worth noting that a copy of the spreadsheet is stored permanently alongside the submission, so you can always go back and view that spreadsheet whenever you need to. Okay. The filing's taken care of. Um, if you really wanted to make sure things are all ship shape, you know, is there a way you can check whether the client's also paid for the, that return that quarter? Yes, there is. We have another area in our Making Tax Digital tool set that I can show you. It's called the Digital VAT Account, and this is a live connection to HMRC's VAT database to see what information they hold with regard to your client's VAT returns. Now, this is updated live, so we can immediately see the submission that we've just made. And right now, HMRC allow us to view VAT periods, liabilities, and due dates. As and when they allow us to access more information, then we will display it here. Now, the beauty of this area is that we surface that information for any clients for whom you are authorised to act for VAT purposes. So regardless of whether you've actually filed the return through CCH OneClick, you can use this as a monitoring tool for all your clients. Great. I mean, I think that has demystified it a little bit, for me at least, and then hopefully the viewers as well. Thanks for the demo, Dean. If you want to find out any more about CCH Central and CCH OneClick, make sure to watch the other product showcase video. And we also have copious information and user reviews on Accounting Web's software reviews page. Thank you, Dean, and thank you very much for watching.